G'day Furballs, and this is my first proper vlog, I suppose you guys could say, without using a whistler in my mouth, so I hope you guys don't mind me breaking the magic, so to speak, here. And I do apologise, I've got a cast on this arm, and I thought, you know what, instead of trying to struggle to put another glove on this hand, I am just going to use this hand, so, uh, magic. So, since I got my first suit last week, as you guys probably would have seen the unboxing video, I decided that this topic would probably be a very interesting one to start off with my vlogging on this channel. That being, how did I, myself, come out as a furry? Now, a lot of other furry YouTubers have basically already gone over this sort of thing, so if you haven't really seen most of the stuff like Akari or Blue the Dragon or some of those really amazing other guys because I'm totally not biased Australian here <coughs> then you probably haven't heard about the whole trend thing where you apparently come out as a furry to your friends and your family members and explain to them that you're a, a furry so firstly I'm going to start off with what a furry is a furry can be classified as many things depending on the person themselves how they view it some people can see being a furry as being uh, as other king or um, an anthro version of themselves but pretty much a furry is considered to be an anthropomorphic version of a person the most common kind of anthro versions out there are usually among the canine family mainly being wolves and also dragons as well so there is a large variety of different kind of creatures that you self can create these things or personas end up becoming called fursonas in the furry fandom but I'm not going to go into all the detail of how you do and create your own persona. I'll leave that for another vlog. However, how did I myself come out as a furry? Well, here's the issue that I have. Most people can come out as bi, lesbian, pansexual, or polyamorous. Usually, coming out is in relation to one's sexuality. So it really doesn't make sense to come out as a furry. Not unless you have some really weird kink, which in other words, I don't want to know anything about. So the number one reason why I'm doing this is because I got my first suit last week, and obviously, um, that would have exposed me to, you know, being outside and my family members seeing me dressed up as Angle herself. And of course, you're probably all wondering how a non-furry person who has never really know much about the furry fandom, reacted to a person such as myself dressing up in this mythical creature costume and running around squeaking and squawking like some crazy looney tune. Oh dear god, what have I done? But here's the awesome part. I never come out as a furry because it just doesn't sound right. As I said, it's usually something that's associated with sexuality. But if you feel like you have to come out as a furry, there's no problems there. That's up to yourself. For me, per se, I just basically tell people that this is the costume of a character that I myself created, which is an anthro version of a creature that was created by Eno, aka Telephone herself. Which is kind of a bit of a bore because most people don't know exactly what I'm talking about, so to simplify it, I say this. This here is my costume of a character that I myself created based on this mythical creature, and it's just a costume to go out and cosplay in. Because basically, fursuiting is the same essence of cosplaying, just it's not it's not Wonder Woman. Unless you cross cosplaying as Wonder Woman in a fursuit, like Yeah, um Hi. But on with the point here. As you guys have seen this very short clip here. Pretty much my mum yeah. discovered the fursuit, had and had a lot of fun putting her on, running around, even though she had no complete understanding of what a fur is. Besides the whole anthropomorphic version of a creature, and yeah, you guys got the drill of that. But how do I explain it to friends and family that do know what a furry is? Well, that's kind of sort of along the same lines of, it's a costume, blah blah blah. Same drill, I don't go over details with, I'm a furry, I associate myself as this particular species, this is the character in costume form, I put it on to become that character. Which, it just kind of sort of doesn't sound right. And there are always different ways to word things towards friends and family. An appropriate way of doing it, which is very simple um, and not too overly detailed like what I'm, I'm rambling here. So don't ramble, don't ramble, that's, that's the <laughs> really good. <laughs> but of course, you know, there's a simple way of just saying, you know, it's a costume, I like to dress up as this. Um, and hopefully they understand what you're talking about. 
So hopefully you've liked my very first vlog without me squeaking and carrying on like a usual Dot Angel Dragon, and that you guys can look forward to more fursuiting and vlogging videos like these. Also, I do intend on doing dancing videos outside rather than my first one, which obviously was in a very small cramped room because it was raining outside and I simply was just too energetic to say no. Love you guys so much. Thank you for being so awesome and supportive to this channel. I know I haven't had it up for very long in regards to when I posted the uh, fursuit video. And hopefully you guys can hear me properly because I know speaking in a fursuit, I do have to amplify my voice just a little bit later for you guys to understand. So hopefully when I'm editing this video, I don't hear a really horrid mumbling voice and just go, Oh my god, what have I done with my life? P.S. I'm also open to advice in regards to how I edit myself, present it, and what to sort of do to make my videos a lot better. So if you guys want to feel free to comment down below, by all means, do so. I love your opinions. I always think it's really great and helpful to me to improve becoming better at YouTubing and doing these sorts of things, especially while first editing, because it does become a little bit hard and very hot and steamy inside of this thing, especially in Australia because today it's like 30 plus degrees, and I'm wearing a damn jacket because I'm just so smart. So thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you all have a splendid week slash weekend. Depending where you are when you're watching this and whatnot. Bye!